I'm an unlicensed pharmaphiliac in 46 states, and today we'll be looking at Dollar Tree aspirin. Now, with the illusion of choice, how do you know which aspirin is the correct one? There's two here at Dollar Tree, but I've seen probably about another two or three other ones that exist pretty normally in other pharmacies. Here's the quick rundown. This is aspirin 325, and I would say there's pretty much no reason to ever buy this. This comes in a immediate release and an enterically coated delayed release tablet. Aspirin is one of the few medications that actually does get absorbed a little bit in the stomach, and that can cause quite a lot of issues with ulcers, so it actually makes sense to have it delayed released into the intestines at times. The 325 is not helpful for pain, and I would prefer a much higher dose. They make a 500 milligram at other pharmacies. So they don't even have the aspirin that I recommend here at Dollar Tree. So if you were gonna use this for pain, I would say 500 milligram, and that's the appropriate dose for headache as well. 325, enterically coated or immediate release, I don't really even hardly acknowledge it. Now the 81 milligram, this is a chewable. I've had this before, it actually tastes pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. There's really no reason to take this unless your doctor tells you to. So this can be used to help kind of prevent like heart events, like heart attacks and stroke, but it doesn't really help preventing the first episode. It would have to be your second or more episode. So just taking this just to take it isn't recommended anymore. They only have the chewable here at Dollar Tree, but there's also an enterically coated that's delayed release and releases in the intestine at other pharmacies. Also aspirin, regardless of the dose, regardless of the formulation, should never be given to babies, never be given to kids. That used to be called baby aspirin, and that's very dangerous. It can cause something called Rye Syndrome. 